In this video, we're going to look at when additional money goes into or comes out of a savings account, for example. So when there's a change in the amount of money. And to do a question like this, a timeline is very useful. So for this question, 120,000 Rand is deposited into a savings account. And then two years later, a further deposit of 6,000 Rand is added to the savings. Calculate the amount of money in the savings account at the end of six years if the interest rate is 8% per annum compounded annually. So remember, when you're putting money into the bank account, the bank's going to pay you interest. And we want to see how much interest we're actually getting. Now, if we look at a timeline, it just helps clear up the exact amount of time a specific investment is in the bank. So it does help us. It just makes it a little bit clearer. So 120,000 Rand goes in immediately at the beginning. No time has passed. And that's why I write a T0. Okay, so that's going in right now. And then two years later, so at T2, so after two years, 6,000 Rand goes into the account. And I want to know how much is going to be there at the end of six years. Okay, so the end of T6. Now, with this type of calculation, we don't want to round off too early because that can make a difference of a few decimals. And when we're talking about finance, that can make a big difference to a person. So we want to use our calculators only once if possible. Now, if extra money is going into an account, I can actually treat it as a completely separate investment. It makes no difference to the final total. So in this question, we're earning 8% per interest and it's compounded annually. So if I want to substitute that into my formula, I will substitute a 0 0.08. The interest is compound interest. So we're going to use our compound interest formula and we're first going to look at 120,000 Rand. And we have to ask ourselves, how long is 120,000 Rand in the account for? We're going to ignore the 6,000 to start with. 120,000 Rand will be there for a full six years. So that is our first investment. Okay, so it's going to be there for six years, so my exponent is six. Then I'm putting in another 6,000 Rand. So I'm adding 6,000 Rand to the account, but that 6,000 Rand is only going to be there for four years. So from, the, from two to six is an extra four years. So I'm going to add another investment to my account, but that investment is only there for four years. And this is the easiest way to calculate how much will be there at the end of six years. Okay, so the 120,000 Rand is there for six years, and then a completely new investment, completely new amount of 6,000 Rand will go in, and it's going to be there in four years, for four years. And if you type that long thing into your calculator, you get the exact right answer. So if you type it in and round off to two decimal places, because we're talking about Rands and cents, you should end up with 198,587 Rand and 85 cents. So it's not necessary to put the 120,000 Rand in for two years, get an answer, add 6,000, and then put the new amount in for four years. You can actually treat them as two completely separate investments. The answer is completely 100% correct. In the second example, 80,000 Rand is deposited into a savings account. And 12 months later, 14,000 Rand is withdrawn from the account. Okay, so this time money is coming out of the account. Calculate the amount of money in the savings account at the end of four years if interest rate is 11% per annum compounded annually. All right, so let's just have a look at what is happening on a timeline. Okay, so 80,000 Rand goes into the account immediately, so no time has passed, and that's why we say T0. And then 12 months later, 14,000 Rand comes out of the account. So one year later, 14,000 Rand is coming out of the account. And we're going to put that on the opposite side of the timeline. So don't put it as a minus 14,000. Put it on the opposite side of the timeline. And we want to know at the end of four years how much will be in the account. So that's how your timeline works. So T0 is when no time has passed. That's when we first put the money into the account. And then after 12 months, or after one year, remember everything has to be in the same um, time period, so years or months, whatever, but we're going to choose years this year. 14,000 Rand comes out, and our interest rate is 11% per annum. And remember when we substituted into 
the formula, we're going to divide it by 100, so it comes out as 0.11. Okay, it's compound interest, and like the previous example, we're going to look at it as two separate events that are happening. So the first one is that 80,000 Rand goes in there for the full four years. So your interest is 0 0.11, and the exponent is 4, because it's four years. But then 14,000 Rand is coming out of the account, so I'm going to subtract 14,000 Rand, okay? But when you're taking that money out the account, it's no longer going to earn interest, all right? So you've got to say, how much interest is it actually going to be losing? So if you've got it written on a timeline, you can see how much time is left on the timeline, and there are three years left on the timeline, okay? So after one year, the 14,000 Rand comes out, so I've got to subtract it, but with it, I've got to realize it's going to lose interest. So I'm taking out the interest as well. And it's going to lose interest for three years. And that's why the exponent is a three on my second bracket. Then you type it into your calculator. You see we only want to use our calculator once. So I type it in. And we end up with 102,298 rand and 80 cents rounded off to two decimal places. So in financial maths, to be completely accurate, you only want to use your calculator once. So if money is going in or out of, the, out of the account, always decide how much time is left on the timeline, and that will be your exponent. So even though 14,000 Rand is coming out, it's minus 14,000 Rand, but how much time is left on the timeline? It's losing interest for three years. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe.